Hi there, I'm Lou Levison. I'm coming to you live from Klamath Falls, Oregon, USA. It's um, March 29th, 2020. Uh, we're in the midst of uh, coronavirus pandemic. So people like me that uh, on the weekend often are playing at a coffee house or a bar or something, uh, we're not doing that because of social distancing. And if any of you like to uh, go out and hear live music, um, your opportunities are uh, definitely curtailed. So uh, we're going to try this live stream thing. It's the first time. And so uh, feel free to give some feedback too uh, for any technical considerations. So um, thinking about uh, what songs I might do, uh, it occurred to me that uh, March is Women's History Month, so I'm going to do a little women's history kind of set. Um, I, uh, I write a lot of songs. I write all my own songs, you know, so I had like maybe 10 songs. I narrowed it down to uh, three or four that I would do for a women's coffee house, uh, a women's um, uh, history month, sorry. Um, uh, maybe 150 songs total uh, at this point uh, that I've written. Um, but anyway, so this... Um, First one is about a, uh, a Russian uh, fighter pilot uh, during World War II. Uh, she's been nicknamed uh, the White Rose of Stalingrad. Historians generally say she shot down 12 uh, enemy aircraft. Uh, some differ on that, but... Um, in any case, songs about her, it's called The White Rose of Stalingrad. Um, uh, there was a woman um, uh, combat pilot in World War I, actually, Turkish woman. She was the first uh, U.S. Uh, military women um, uh, weren't allowed to fly in combat until, I think, 1990s, 1993, maybe, something like that. Um, but... Uh, uh, Soviet Union had a, had, had a regiment of women uh, pilots in the Second World War, and a lot of their stories are quite amazing. This, one, this is about one of them, and it's called White Rose of uh, Stalingrad. <laughs>
to a woman aviator. This song's called Amelia. Of course, it's about Amelia Earhart. Um, it, it deals with some other stuff, too, but it, it, it starts and ends with Amelia. <laughs> uh, okay. As I turn the pages of mysteries through the ages I wonder what happened to Amelia Did she slip beneath the seas Or was she taken by a Japanese Did she die a castaway Or live to fly another day
ages of mysteries through the ages. All right, now about someone a little more uh, contemporary, or some people a little more contemporary. So in um, in uh, Palestine and uh, Gaza, um, you know, after the '80s, uh, very fundamentalist uh, Islamic uh, government, you know, came into uh, being, and um, and they felt that. Uh, um, women past puberty uh, shouldn't ride bicycles, so they that's that's a no-no there. But um, I, I've been a bicycle commuter since uh, I started riding it to kindergarten, actually, and so I, I've ridden a bicycle most of the days of my life, and um, and so I well understand how. Uh, um, you know, I look forward to it every day, and uh, I don't feel right when I miss it. And so, there were there were women in the Middle East in uh, um, Muslim uh, countries that um, you know rode bikes when they were when they were kids, and they wanted to keep riding bikes. So some of them uh, in Gaza have defied the the local uh, laws and norms, and and banded together and rode their bikes, and they face uh, um, you know, a harsh reaction not only from their own uh, people, um, but when when th their land's been occupied by Israelis, they uh, bicyclists have been uh, very harassed by the uh, Israeli army too. So, um, uh, not not a good situation for bicycling there. But these women have persevered, and um, some of them are still around, I believe, although I don't, I don't know the, the most current news on them. So anyway, so um, this is a little tribute to them.
Yeah, maybe we should just issue them all a nice spiffy bike instead of, you know, whatever, dropping bombs on them or something, but uh, that's another story. Uh, let's see. Um, so, uh, here's a song about uh, someone who was a poet in the 1800s, uh, Emma Lazarus. She was Jewish too, by the way. But Anyway, she... Um, she wrote a poem called The New Colossus, and um, the origin of this poem was the well-to-do in New York were raising money to create a base to put the Statue of Liberty on. The statue, the actual copper statue, was a present from France for her 100th birthday. So they asked Emma to write a poem that could be auctioned off at this like fundraising auction. So she wrote this poem, The New Colossus, it was auctioned off. Um, she died kind of young before the uh, Statue of Liberty construction was finished. And her friends kind of resurrected this poem and, and, and um, uh, arranged things so that it, it was on the base of the Statue of Liberty. It's about the only thing written there. And uh, so I wrote this song in response to um, feelings against immigration and so forth. But it does tell the story of, of uh, two great women, Emma, and uh, who died a long time ago, and, and the other one who's still standing tall. There's a little instrumental uh, introduction here, and it's supposed to represent like the waves of immigration building and building to our country.
History Month set and uh, uh, yeah, if, if if people want, I I can uh, do more uh, sets or something, uh, different weeks or whatever. Uh, appreciate you uh, tuning in, whoever's out there. And uh, oh, Google these names here. Uh, Lydia Litvak, that our people called her Lily, but she's the White Rose of Stalingrad. Uh, this lady was the organizer of uh, most of the women's bike riding in Gaza. Uh, this lady, of course, you know, Amelia Earhart, Google her too, though. Uh, uh, Amna was the organizer of the bike riding, and Emma Lazarus is this uh, amazing poet from the 1800s. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>